Happy New Year Carpers! Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, we are at a really good location to hit off our 2020 fishing season. Yep, we are at Linear Complex. Uh, it's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've just had a little look round and I've come on to St John's. Um, I was supposed to come down to Orchid Lakes last week, so, but, as you're all aware, Linear Fisheries was all flooded underwater last week, so, everyone that was going to go there went to Orchid, so, yeah, you guessed it, Orchid was around, um, couldn't really get a spot on there, I didn't really fancy the three hour drive journey there and not get a spot, uh, did try another couple of good places, but they were rammed as well, so I thought, right, I'll knock it on the head and I'll... Yeah, just wait and come on linear. My thinking of coming on linear and not orchid was obviously orchid's been rammed, it's been overfished lately, you know. So I thought, right, linear's open on the first, I'll come down here on the second. Hopefully, there's not been a lot of pressure, so fingers crossed, we will see. Um, not really been sure what lake to go on. A lot of people have been saying uh, Braze Nose One's good for a bite in the winter, but yes there is some big fish in there yes there is a lot of fish in there but i haven't drove two and a half nearly three hours to come and catch fish where i can catch on my syndicate anyway so i've decided to go on st john's i've had a little look around i found a little there's a deep area deep end and a shallow end all obviously all the deep ends all it's all rammed uh shallow end. i don't really want to go on there uh, it's winter time so i've sort of gone midway so i can sort of be in between the two so yeah, I stuck a bucket in there, and we will see how we get on. Bought, uh, not sure about a baiting approach. Uh, I have bought some spod mix down, which I'll show you later. Uh, I've got a couple of pints of maggots, just because you never know. I want to keep the options open. I know they do like maggots on here in the winter. Um, yeah, so we will see. First impressions of the place. It's nice. It's got some big fish. But I don't know, a lot of people you may know, I, I don't really like commercial fishing. I don't really like being rammed, you know, like in life, sorry, a sardine tin. Um, but yeah, all the swims just seem so close together. I mean, what is 39 swims on, what is it, 17, 18 acres maybe? But ugh, they're just so close together. It's just not my type of fishing, but... At the end of the day, you've got to be in it to win it. There's some big fish in here. There's, yeah, I think they go up to like 48 in here. A lot of 30s, a few 40s. So we will see. So yeah, I've put a bucket in a swim. Looks quite nice. Water's still high. It's come over. It's come over the um, the the, the platform. Should I say? Yeah, it's come over the platform. So we will see. It should be going down. I've bought my waders anyway in case I need to get out there and. You know, got the fish more walking past. Yeah, I bought more way just in case I need to get out there. So, right, I'm going to get on my gear out and get set up. I'll see you later, guys. Hello, carpers. Got all three of my rods out now. Uh, all three of them, uh, 10 and 3 quarter wraps. Yeah, managed to uh, find. I found a nice big gravel spot to the right, so I've got two rods on that, and the one on the left is at the same distance. A uh, bit, bit silty, but yeah, it's rammed on here today, so I'm being a bit quiet. I've not gone. I've made a load of uh, spot mix up, but I haven't gone with that approach yet because everyone else is doing it. So I just thought I'd try few singles you know um, right hand pod got a well, solid PVA bag uh, nuts wafter with a bit of fake corn on and in a bag of pellets middle rod got the I don't think someone's got run over there middle rod ISO cream um, just with a bag of wicked whites and nuts boilies and on the left hand rod I've got a nuts wafter with about four or five maggots tied onto it 
um, in a, a PVA bag full of maggots. So we'll see what happens. I'm uh, going to leave it till tonight. Like I said, everyone's spotting out, so I thought, right, I'll go with some singles. Uh, come tonight, I'll, I'll spot some bait over that gravel bar, which I found on the right. I'll get a load of spot mix out there, and then go from there. Uh, got three nights, so got plenty of things to try. Speak to you soon. Hi guys, just thought I'd talk to you about me spot mix that I pre-made when I come. Um, made this a couple of days ago. Uh, but the only thing is, uh, everyone is spotting like mad, spotting loads of bait out. So, um, literally today, I'm just going for singles. You know, with a little bit, little bit, little bag of maggots or whatever. I don't know yet. But everyone's spotting, so I want to be a bit different. But I'm going to show you it anyway. As you can see. We've got sweet corn. We've got some sweet corn. We've got some nuts boilies. We've got some wicked whites boilies, hull. We've got some halves in there as well. Um, I've also got some blended up, um, you know, crushed up boily put in there as well. We've got some pellets, all nice and soft now. Look, they've been soaking in there for ages. You know, loads of little little feed and particle for them to munch on um, like I said I'm not gonna go for that approach today because everyone's doing it but it's all there and ready to go if I do well hello carpers first day on air just thought I'd give you a little talk about look see that guys look Jedi Carper that's what the old missus got me done for my birthday Went through Mad Baits, got it done. All right, look, wicked. Never even thought about getting my name put on here, but wicked. Thank you, darling. Nice and warm. All lovely for the winter. Another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Back in, when was it? June time, Corder bought out a tackle box. Uh, up, leading up to it, there was a big hype about it and all this, like, blah, blah, blah. I went in the shop and I, I looked at it and I thought, 39.99, it's a bloody waste of money, I'll stick to my fox box. I've had my fox box for years and years and years. But after seeing so many people use them and go on about them, and my brain started ticking, I'm thinking, you know, I've got my fox box, I've got all the other little box and the little tiny tackle boxes inside, it's a pain in the ass. So do you know what? Mrs. also and the kids obviously also bought me a little cooler box. Got a bit of tea on it, I spilled some tea on it earlier. Uh, do you know why there's tea on it? Got got my light up there. Cut with tea in my hand. <laughs> got back in the bivy, knocked the light with my head, because as you know they're on a magnetic strip. And it went straight into my cup. Donk. It don't work. Dead. But I've got another review to show you later, so stay tuned. Anyway. Yeah, it's got a bit of tea on it. But yeah, yeah getting back to... Hang on, let me give this a little wipe. Getting back to this... It's took me years and years and years and it's took me a lot of persuading to come away from my trusted fox box. I mean, I've had it for like 12, 13 years. Um, but I thought, you know, you've got to knock it to try it. And do you know what? I'm mighty impressed. I'm really, really impressed with it. I've literally got everything in there. Obviously, my missus got me the uh, pack where you get the extra things. So yeah, you got your old leader, your old leader safe. Um, I did have like all my zig kit stuff in my other little pouch, which I'd got originally for leads and bits and bobs. But look, at that. all my zig kit stuffs in there. Every everything to do with zig fishing's in there. You know, I've got all my all the little bits and bobs in here. They're all there, literally. I can. It's it's wicked. 
I didn't know why I didn't get one sooner. You know, I've got all my all my scissors and all my putties and rig pullers and you know baiting needles, stripper, my drills. Yep, it's wicked. Got my old uh, little hook links in there, look. Got me boom, my IQ. Got me other little braids in there. Got my hooks, different size hooks, all that in there, wicked. Store your rigs. Like I said, this, this is the bit I like, because I had little things like that, and I kept opening up and I was pain in the arse, but it's all there, look. What have we got in here? You know, rig rings, quick chains, quick links, hook beads, baiting screws. You know, all, all my silicon tubing, my hair stops, all my, uh, yeah, them. <laughs> Shrink tube, anti tangle sleeves, little kickers, little rub tail rubbers to go on the lead clips. Here we go, my lead clips. What have we got in here? Got me, uh, Fake corn. Yeah, all in there. I've got all my um, bits and that for my running rigs as well as over there. It's it's all there. It's wicked. Um, got another little another little pot there which I ain't used yet. Obviously fit some stuff in. I've got loads of compartments free to put other stuff in. But yeah, it's, um, I thought I'd get one just to uh, see if I could convert myself and this is it's good. It's really, really good. I don't know why I didn't get one sooner. But like I said, when they first come out, I went in angling direct and looked at them, and I thought, mm, this is just another. What I call the stuff is all good. It is pricey. But uh, at the time, I looked at it and looked at the price, and I thought, yeah, I'll just stick to my fox box. But we will give it a go. See what happens. See how we get on with it. Right. I'm hoping for a fish because I have been up since four o'clock this morning. I didn't get much sleep last night because I get thinking about this place. Yeah, it should be getting dark soon. Right, see you later, guys. Morning carpus. Nothing to report. Didn't really do much filming yesterday because I was up from four. Didn't get much sleep that night before because I get thinking about coming on here. And uh yeah, ended up crashing out about quarter to four. Literally slept right through. Um did manage to redo all my rods before I went to sleep yesterday. Um bailiff come round. Uh, took his money and said um, put some maggot bags on so luckily enough I bought some maggots with me so yeah just chucked uh, three singles out with three maggot bags on, on each um, obviously nothing's happened um, don't know if anyone else has had any but I have heard that Tom Maker who's down the other end of the lake yeah, I'm going to have a cup of tea, have some bacon rolls, and then uh, I'm going to get on it. Not sure what I'm going to do today. I've um, got three more days left. I'm going to uh, try something a bit better. Something a bit different today. Whoever looks like it's um, looking a bit nicer. Uh, that did rain all night. It's literally stopped raining about an hour ago but it looks like the sun's trying to poke through that's why it's quite nice the wind's pushing up this way now yeah get back to you soon Oil carpers. 
going into the second evening now, about three o'clock. Should get dark in an hour. Nothing much happened, apart from swans keep going through my lines. Gone for chucking boilies out today. Uh, three mesh bags out on each rod. Right hand rod was a nut swafter, middle rod, yellow pear drops pop up, left rod, uh, another nuts. Gonna stick this out for tonight. We've got all tomorrow and tomorrow night to go, so change tactics again tomorrow. I reckon a few of these people will be going tomorrow morning, so might relieve a bit of pressure off the lake might even be able to move down into the uh, bowl you never know right I'm going to cook up a nice bit of steak for my dinner speak to you soon oh yeah baby a nice bit of steak for dinner Morning Carbers, uh, second morning, um, nothing to report last night, no liners, no drop backs, no nothing, not heard any fish bosh or anything, so um, yeah we've got one night left, one day, one night and a morning left, um, going to reel in my rods now, it's uh, currently 10 o'clock, I'm going to reel in my rods and I'm going to rest the swim for a couple of hours. So yeah, not sure what to try next, obviously going to try something different, still got some maggots, I didn't try the old maggot bags yesterday, I did the first day, not yesterday, tried boily approach, just pure boily yesterday, so I'm going to try something else today. A few people are going now, uh, two people to the, three people to the right of me are gone. One person to the left, uh, the three people that were across the other bank, they were got they're going. So hopefully, my rod uh, might relieve a bit of pressure off the lake. Like I said, with my my rods coming in as well, we will see. Right, just have my brew and a bacon sandwich. I feel raring to go. A bit overcast today, uh, not too cold. That was quite cold last night. I noticed before I went to bed, um, the old chair was frosting up. But yeah, seems to be quite quite mild today. All right, I'm gonna shoot, get my rods in. I'll speak to you soon. Well, hello, carpers. Don't know if you can remember from my last video, but I said um, Sunblesser, Gavin at Sunblesser, was going to send me through a new bivvy light to test, product review. So here we go. Bearing in mind, I've got this in the post, right? All I've done is charged it up for when I next come out, so I've not really looked inside properly, so here we go. You know, you want me to do a product review, so I'm going to do a product review. I'll give you my honest opinion. So here we go. Bearing in mind I've been using the Ridge Monkey one and yeah they are good. Let's see there we go. Some blessed bivy light. Comes in a nice little case. Looks good. Which is good because with the Ridge Monkey you don't get a free case. So there you go guys, it's one plus side already. Look at that. All nice and neat, isn't it? See it? See your little light? A little charging cable. Oh, remote control as well, I didn't know that. There we go. 
remote control, you've got your on off button and it looks like your up and down like dimmer for the three different colours I suppose we'll, we'll have a look, we'll get this open and have a look uh, little instruction manual uh, a lanyard, wicked right, let's get this light out like I said I've, I've literally just got it out and um, charged it up but one thing I did notice when I was charging it up, you've got an input and an output. I don't know if you can see that. So to me, obviously your input is to charge it up. And I'm guessing the output is to maybe charge your phone. That's a good idea, isn't it? I don't, don't suppose the Ridge Monkey ones do that. Yeah. There you go, you've got the old magnetic strip. So you can uh, you know, put that on the inside of your bivvy, put that on the top. So you know, keep it, keep it locked in. Got nice little, oh look, little hook as well. If you want to hang it up, that's a good idea. I'll put a link, a little link in the description up there. I think they're $26.99 off Amazon. I will put a little link up. There you go, nice, nice big green button. That's a plus side because <laughs> at night time I struggle to find the, the one on the monkey one because it's a tiny little button. So uh, there we go. It's quite bright, isn't it? Oh, you got any reds? Oh, yeah, so it goes dim white, bright white, dim red, mega red, green. Oh, on this, I, I, I do know about this. You've got four little lights in there, so when you go to turn it off, you have four little lights, which means that's your battery life. One, two, three, four. So if it's down to three, you know, you've got three quarters, if you're down to two lights, it's down to a half. But that's quite good, isn't it? Let's, let's test this remote out. I've got to do something with this battery. Alright, oh, remote control. There we go. On off. So you can have it up there, you can be in your bed. You know, when you're nice and cosy and warm, you've got your light on, you're about to go to sleep, you don't have to get the sleeping bag off, reach up, turn it off. You just use this. On off. There we go. Let's do the red button. Change it to red. Bright red. White. Bright white. Green. Bright green. I'm supposing if you hold your finger on the button, yeah, it dims it. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, dims it. You got your green, your white, and your red. That's good, isn't it? Then turn it off. There you go, you got your four lights. Quite impressive so far. Right, let's look at the old technical bit. I must admit, so far for twenty six ninety nine, that's that's pretty good. Because I know the Ridge Monkey ones with the uh, remote control, I think they're about forty odd quid. So there you go. Features three color lights: white, red, and green with remote control, powerful magnet, night light on and off switch, power bank function. There we go. Yeah, I was right. Look, power bank, smooth light brightness change, sleepless dimming, stepless dimming. Sorry. Memory light mode off last time. Okay, so if you whatever mode and whatever colour you turn it off, when you turn it back on, it comes back on again. Built in recharging lithium battery 2600 mAh. Water and rainproof. Suitable for light rain days. Please don't put in light water. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you got all your, your directions how to use it and everything. And uh, yeah, runtime. So basically, if you got it on the bright white setting, it will run for seven hours. Ain't bad. I mean, I, I don't really use mine much at night time. You know, I'll put it on for a little bit and I'll go to bed. So, but what we'll do is we, we will start using this today, or tonight, sorry, and we'll just see how long it lasts. 
you know, whether it goes into my next session, you know, we'll, we'll see how long. You know, I'll keep using this, use this one permanently, and we'll see how it goes. If you use it in low, it's obviously 150 hours in low white. That is, that's really good. Uh, red is 200 hours, green 300 hours. So, you know, even in the highs, the white is 7 hours, the red is 22 hours, and the green is 33 hours. That's pretty good going. 180 lumens. Color temperature, if you know, if you're into all that, is 650k. Sorry, 6,500k. Remote works up to six meters. That's quite good. Uh, from from flat to full charge, four hours to charge up. That's good. And yeah, the weights. Uh, 306 grams for all the kit but I don't know about you but on the bank I use my ridge monkey to do some night shots of fish and I'm always struggling to you know prop it up and all this lot um, I did manage to get a bivy light holder for it for 12.99 but it goes on the bank stick and you can't really you can position it or nothing. But another good thing about Sun Blesser, look, baby light. Get this. I think it's about $9.99 from Amazon as well. I'll put, I'll put a link up. But Gavin's been kindly enough to send me this. This is look. Basically put that on your bank stick. Now let's get this going. I did open open this up and have a look previously because I wonder what it was. So look, flexible. Any way, direction, any way you want it, it's there. There we go, nice and strong. Shook that a bit, it's because I've got the plastic on. Look. <laughs> there we go. Look at that for flexibility. That's good. There we go. When you're doing your night shots, struggling to get the light right, balancing the light and all that light. I, I struggle big time, so this is gonna be a godsend. So yeah, so what, 26 dollars so what you're talking, 36 quid, you've got a decent bivy light. You've got your holder, bank stick holder. And you've got your remote control, which is a godsend, you know. Like I said, I will give this a good test. So, yes guys, so I'm gonna test it till it's full potential. Uh, when I get some fish, do some night shots, do a, use it on this session, my next session, see how it goes, and I'll do a, do a product, do a proper product review on it. It's no point me just going on about it, what it can do, you wanna see it in action, so, you know. We'll use it, we'll use it and keep using it. Just uh, keep an eye out. I'll try and stick a link up there. If not, I'll stick a link in the description for the uh, Amazon links. And right, see you later guys. Right guys, I've rested the swim for a couple of hours. So uh, I've just wrapped all my rods back up. And uh, that, that's spod mix. I'm not going to spot any bait out, but I'm going to put them into some mesh bags. Just have some little, because it's not too moist. It's quite dry, that mix. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully a few little parcels of bait out there on the spots might be a, might be a winner. We've tried most other things and nothing's worked, so we're going to try this for a few hours. Might stick with it tonight, I don't know. Um, still got some maggots. So I might put some maggot bags out for tonight. Who knows? Well, I'm going to get these rods out. Speak to you soon, carpers.
evening Harpers, going into the final evening now, a couple of people have uh, turned up over the, over the other side, uh, they shouldn't be uh, interfering with my swims thank god, um, yeah, sitting, laying down here earlier, uh, watching my rods, Not just a couple of bleeps, bobbin starts going up slowly, Line starts coming off the reel. I think, oh, hello, here we go. Get to my rod. My rod's bent round to the right. Yeah, some geezer next door doing a bit of pike fishing with his lure. Got on holding my line, didn't he? Thought we was in then. Oh well. Feeling confident for tonight. So, more confident than the other two nights because obviously there's less pressure on here now. Um. Yeah, we will see. Uh, it's been nice to get down here. Uh, I'm not really expecting to catch much anyway because of uh, the winter, but it's been nice to come down to Linear. I've always wanted to come down. Um, I think next time I'm going to come down when it's a bit warmer, but it's going to be midweek. I ain't coming. The weekend, it's, it's, like, it's like a sardine tin. The swims are so close together or somewhere, and I don't like it. So, yeah, like I said, the only time I'd fish this again is midweek when there's no one about. If hoping there's no one about. So, you know, maybe come down Monday morning to a Thursday or something. Quite a lot of wildlife still on here. The swans keep, they've been quite good now, they know where my rods are, they keep going under my rods or over my lines. So, I mean, the first day I've got here, they were kept going through them big time. Every five minutes they were going through them, I think I was getting a run, you know, a couple of bleeps and. Yeah. I'm gonna sign off. Get some food on the go soon. It's about three hour three now. But I don't know if you can see out there. It is quite bright out there. It is nice and bright. It is quite nice out there. Right guys, tight lines everyone. Speak to you soon. Good morning, Carpers. Final morning. Um, afraid to say, another blank. So that's two blanks on the trot now, guys. Just gone eight o'clock in the morning. Just gonna have a uh, a brew. I'm going to have a slow, slow pack down. Had a little uh, little rain in the night, a little light drizzle, so everything's wet. Uh, not the sort of thing you want when you're um, packing up. Like I said in previous videos, I don't mind any sort of weather when I'm fishing. I just hate setting up and packing up in the rain. So got a couple of hours fishing left, I'm going to leave the rods out for another couple of hours, um, we will see what happens, but it's not looking good. Alright, I'm going to have a brew, like I said have a slow pack down, so I'll catch up with you guys soon. See you later carpers, bye. Hello carpers, well unfortunately it's come to that time, time to pack up, literally just my ground sheet to go. And then uh, my two and a half, three hour journey home commences. Like I said, I will be back down here again when it's a bit warmer and midweek where there's less pressure. So I'm knackered now. Right, tight lines everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more. Instagram and Facebook, Jedi Carpa. Like and share that for me, please. 
All right, see you soon. Hopefully see you on the bank sometime.